After the Great War, many changes followed in the United States and throughout the world. This year's Greeley Chautauqua brings the people involved in these changes to life. We don't like boring videos. What a means a shirt, half a nary. Nisha Water Pongyo. First words. I spoke to them angry. Since she was not the new baby toy, I felt I had been promised. <laughs> I poked her and said with vigor, Where are her wheels? <laughs> I hated school and felt that it was military training for six year olds. He decided that he couldn't do anything if he simply uh, was awake for one day. He needed to work straight through. So he went to sleep and he slept for three days straight. He didn't quite do that, but like when he would wake up, he would make himself lay in the bed until he fell back to sleep. Evening programs and some daytime events were held on the campus of Ames College. A large 1,000-person capacity tent set the stage for the main events of the day. Mustafa Kamel Atatürk was the leader of the formation of Turkey from the Ottoman Empire. Winston Churchill played a large part in World War I as well as World War II. Irving Berlin wrote over 1,000 songs. Most famous is God Bless America. Sergeant Henry Johnson tells of heroic army actions and not-so-good return to civilian life for blacks. General Blackjack Pershing commanded the American Expeditionary Forces in France. Jane Addams was known as the mother of social work. Woodrow Wilson, 28th President of the United States, served during World War I, 1913-1921, and is often ranked as one of the greatest presidents. Mary Roberts Reinhardt, an American mystery writer and World War I war correspondent, was extremely adventurous. Imprisoned several times for inciting workers and illegally distributing birth control information, Emma Goldman bordered on anarchism in her activism, speeches, and writing. Legendary ladies, Ellis Meredith, active suffragist, Emily Griffith, founded Opportunity School for All to Learn Free. Dr. Susan Anderson established the first medical practice in Cripple Creek, Colorado. 31st President of the United States, Herbert Hoover, led the government during the Great Depression after World War I. During daytime, we attended coffee with the actors and lectures at Ames College and Greeley Senior Center. One day, World War I movies were discussed in a historic Greeley theater. Dinners were served each evening by local food vendors. Heavy storms poured rain while we were sheltered in the big tent. This week in Greeley, Colorado was filled with entertainment and education. <laughs>